Hello and welcome to the lecture on files. Let's understand how to work with directories. So if you go to the files folder example 1, open up the working with directories folder. Let's understand the logical flow of example. So we have five examples. The first example is we'll list all the files in a directory. Okay, we'll place some files in a directory and then we'll try to write a program to list all the files from the directory. Then we'll check for a specific file whether the file exists or not in the directory. Then we'll check if the name of a directory is basically a file or basically it's a directory. Then we'll create a directory. Then we'll copy files between the directories. Okay. So part of this will create the deliverable file, which is file directories.php. So let's create this file. So I'll create a folder called files. So I'm in the www folder here. I'm creating a folder called files. And inside this, I'll be storing all the files now. So let's paste our examples. Okay, so let's do a sample one. List all files in a directory. So the method is called as scan dir. Okay, so we'll call this method to check what are the files in a directory okay so let's define a variable and we'll say we'll hold the folder path here and we'll say test folder one we'll create this folder manually and place some files and whether we'll see whether we are able to access that file or not okay we'll say result and we'll use that command scan dir and you have to pass in a directory path so we have the path already here and then we will try to do a var dump first then we'll try to iterate it and see what are the values in that result. So for that, we will go to files folder. And we'll create a folder which is similar to what we have used in the program. Okay, and we'll copy this file and paste it here. Okay, we'll create one more file here. Okay, now I'll run this program to see whether we are able to read the files from this folder, test folder one, because our file is here. We are trying to read files from test folder one. So there are two files. So we should be able to see two files in the output. So let's go to files. Okay. So now if you look at the array, so that's basically converted into an array. So scan dir will convert result as an array. That array is stored in dollar result. Okay. And if you look at the array, you have four elements. And first two elements basically are you know the dot and two dots. That's basically to go back. And then the second and the third are the most important ones. So that's basically your file name that is dummy.txt. Let's open up that folder. Yeah. And then the file directories.php. So it's able to iterate the files from that folder. So remember when you iterate, you always get this single dot and double dot. Okay. So let's little bit understand about these dots. So you typically have this something called as dot. Okay. And if when you are iterating that, you can choose to ignore this two dots like single dot and double dot so that when you print the output you don't print the dots okay so let's do that so let's write a for each loop and we can say dollar dir okay now we can say if dollar dir is equal to dot and not equal to double dots okay so we'll take out the comments for path let's run our program okay so we have an array but we skipped dot and single dot and double dots and then we are printing the file names now so these are the file names that's available in the folder now so if you create a new file and just run our program, then it's able to access those files. 
okay so scan the is a function using which you can list all the files in a directory there's another way to remove that dot and dot dot i'll give you a very simple and easy method so let's say you have a directory variable you can do an array diff and you can pass in your actual array and now you can say i want to find the differences means i don't want i want to escape this the array differences will find the differences so if this is available it will skip this and whatever is not available here will be copied over to directory so it will skip the dot and double dots and if you do a var dump of directory so without even checking the if conditions you can actually remove from that array itself and if you want to do an for each on the directory then you don't need these conditions okay so you're able to print the file names without that dot dot okay so let's look at sample two and three sample 2 and 3 is check the specific file and directory and check if a name that file name is a directory or a file okay so i'm going to copy over this two lines here so we understand what we are doing and there are two methods for it one is to check is file or is dir this is to check whether the file name that you get the dir that you get is to check whether it's a file or a directory okay so now you're gonna copy paste the so we copy paste the code here and then the path we are saying it is test folder one right and then we are trying to remove all the dots from here obviously Maybe what we can do is we can use this and then we can remove the dots. So now you can actually check whether the returned value is a folder or a file. Okay. If you say is file. Okay. So is file is a method using which you can check whether the file is a file or a directory for that you have to pass the path first because you are checking inside that directory and then you have to pass in the slash right you need to check whether the file is inside that folder so now you can say dollar dir right so this is basically checking the folder name slash the file and you're checking that value is a folder again or a file okay so i'll create one more folder here one two right so we'll see whether the one and two is get printed or not or only the file names get printed okay so let's run that and if you see only the file names get printed but if you see it here all the iteration of the directory you have one and two as well because the directory iteration will iterate all the directories as well it doesn't care whether it's file or directory but when you want to just show the file names show the specific file name in a directory then you are just iterating the file from the directory and you're checking it is a file or not right and if you only want to iterate the directories you can say directory then it will only show the directories for you okay so let's create a directory now okay this is another sample create directory this is sample 4 so let's create a variable result is equal to i want to show you a method called glob okay using glob you can find all the path names for a given pattern okay when i say path names let's say let's clear this out okay typically when you want to find a file you can say the asterisk.php 
and you're just iterating the path names right this is a path name okay it's like executing a dir and try to figure out what is inside that so you can say test folder one then you say dir and only i want to see asterisk you say dot txt okay the glob can be used to do the dir function and check all the paths and path name based on the patterns that you can provide to it okay a simple example will be if you want to check asterisk dot php okay then it will tell you what are the files available for asterisk.php obviously it will not be in test folder it will be here so it's actually doing this okay then you will find files directory.php so let's print that so we give a var dump of a result then we'll run a program okay so it's getting that file name so this is one of the easiest way also instead of iterating all the folders and you know and checking with this folder or file and everything there's another easiest way that's this method called clock this is basically a dir function kind of thing wherein you can pass in the pattern and then you can actually get those specific files okay so let's create a folder so before creating a folder we have to check whether the folder exists or not okay and then we can issue the command to create the folder so how do you check whether the folder exists or not you can say file exist and then you can specify the folder name so you can say test folder 3 and now to create the folder you can say mkdir that's a method given for us and then you can specify the folder name okay so let's clear this and say dir so there's no folder called test folder 3 so when we run this program and say dir you will see test folder 3 okay so let's look at the folders here okay i'm going to delete this folder okay and this program is basically creating the test 3 folder so we're going to run this program okay and the folder will appear here okay so that's the command to create a folder and how do you copy files so there's no files in it but we want to copy files from test folder 1 to test folder 3 okay so there's a method called copy as simple as that to copy files we can simply pass the source and the target and the files will get copied over so our source is test folder one and we can say we can take any file from that folder let's say this file and we can actually change the file name as well we'll change it to three okay and then we'll issue that command so before issuing that command we'll try to verify it so there is no file here let's issue our command and the file will appear here with a different file name as well so you're able to copy the file and you're able to change the file name as well okay let's do a quick review on what we have learned to copy a file you can use the copy command to create a directory you can use mkdir to check a folder exist or not or file exist or not you can use file underscore exist if it exists it will be true or else it will be false glob is a method using which you can find all the path names for the given pattern and then array difference we have seen to remove all the differences that is the dot and the double dots then is dir and is underscore file are the functions which is used to check whether it is a directory or a file then we have used scan dir to scan that path and it will scan for the folders files and everything okay so by now you should able to know how to list all the files in a directory check for specific files check if a na given name is a directory or a file create a directory and copy files between the directories okay so do this exercise do this hands-on and understand how to work with files and directories because this is one of the very important concepts in php okay so that's all in the lecture for file directories and i'll see you in the next one